Have you ever wondered who the real pirates of the past were, beyond the romanticized version we often see in movies and books? The term pirate might conjure up images of eye patches, treasure maps and parrots, but the reality is far more complex and intriguing. Pirates were not just the swashbuckling villains or quirky anti-heroes we've come to know through popular culture. They were skilled navigators, ruthless warriors, and sometimes, desperate individuals driven to a life of crime by harsh circumstances. Their stories are woven into the fabric of history, leaving a legacy that still influences our world today. As we chart a course through the murky waters of pirate lore, we'll separate the myths from the facts, revealing a world that's as fascinating as it is dangerous. So pull up a chair, hoist your sails, and ready your sea legs. Prepare yourself to delve into the thrilling and perilous world of pirates. The history of pirates stretches back to ancient times, far beyond the golden age of piracy we're all familiar with. The first recorded instances of piracy date back to the 14th century BCE, with a group known as the Sea Peoples. These maritime marauders hailed from the Aegean and Mediterranean regions and were infamous for their attacks on the ancient civilizations of Egypt, Mycenae and Hittite. Now, let's set sail to ancient Greece, where piracy was not just a crime, but often a politically motivated act. The city-states of Greece frequently sponsored pirates to destabilize their rivals. These pirates, often former fishermen or sailors, would seize goods, enslave crews, and even capture prominent citizens for ransom. From Greece, our journey takes us to the Roman Empire. The Romans' vast trade network across the Mediterranean was a tempting target for pirates. In fact, piracy became such a problem that it disrupted the grain supply, leading to the creation of Rome's first permanent navy to combat the threat. Piracy in ancient times was not just about plunder, it had a profound impact on the development of maritime laws and the establishment of trade routes. These early pirates forced ancient civilizations to adapt and evolve, shaping the course of maritime history. One such example is the Lex Rhodia, a legal code developed by the island state of Rhodes around 800 BCE. This law, which governed maritime trade and navigation, included the first known regulations against piracy. Its principles, such as the concept of general average, are still in use in today's maritime law. Piracy also influenced the development of trade routes as merchants sought safer waters. This led to the establishment of key maritime routes such as the Silk Road of the Sea, which connected the Mediterranean with the Far East. As we can see, pirates have been a part of human history since we first took to the sea. Their influence is etched deep into the annals of our past, shaping not just the high seas, but society itself. Fast forward to the 17th and 18th centuries, we enter the notorious Golden Age of Piracy. An era famed for swashbuckling rogues and audacious maritime exploits, it was a period that saw the rise of legendary figures such as Blackbeard and Captain Kidd. The Golden Age of Piracy was not born in a vacuum. It was a product of its time, shaped by social, economic and political conditions. The end of the War of Spanish Succession in the early 18th century left many sailors unemployed, their skills and daring making them prime candidates for a life of piracy. The abundance of valuable goods flowing from the New World to Europe, coupled with lax maritime law enforcement, created a perfect storm for these desperate men to turn to piracy. The iconic figure of Blackbeard, or Edward Teach, was one of these men. Blackbeard's reign, characterized by his fearsome image and audacious exploits, epitomized the spirit of this age. His flag, a skeleton spearing a heart under an hourglass, struck terror into the hearts of sailors and merchants alike. Yet he was merely one of many. Captain Kidd, born William Kidd, began as a privateer before his descent into piracy. His story serves as a cautionary tale of the thin line between lawful privateering and outright piracy. Pirates, despite their lawless reputation, lived by a code. Known as the Pirate's Code or Articles of Agreement, these rules regulated everything from division of loot to settling disputes. Breaking this code often led to marooning, a fate arguably worse than death. This code, albeit unconventional, was a form of democracy that was ironically more egalitarian than many societies of the time. This pirate democracy extended to their ships. The captain, while in command during battle, was otherwise equal to his crew, who could vote him out at any time. This democratic nature, combined with a share of the plunder, made piracy an attractive option for many disenfranchised individuals. Pirates had a profound impact on the New World colonies. 
their constant raids disrupted trade, leading to economic instability. However, they also played an unwitting role in shaping these colonies. The threat of piracy necessitated the strengthening of naval forces and fortifications, indirectly contributing to the development of these burgeoning societies. The golden age of piracy began to decline by the mid-18th century. Increasing naval presence, the introduction of the Pirate Hunting Piracy Act, and the offer of royal pardons gradually reduced piracy's allure. Yet despite their decline, the legends of these pirates endured, their tales of adventure and rebellion continuing to captivate us centuries later. The Golden Age of Piracy, a tumultuous era that has left an indelible mark on our collective imagination. An age of daring adventure and audacious rogues, it's a testament to the enduring allure of the pirate, a symbol of rebellion and freedom that continues to captivate us to this day. Though the Golden Age has long passed, piracy still exists today. The high seas, while no longer teeming with the skull and crossbones flags of yore, are not entirely free of the scourge of piracy. Our modern pirates, though, do not possess the flamboyance of the buccaneers of the past. They are more discreet, more organized, and sadly, more destructive. Let's take a look at the waters off Somalia, for instance. This region has gained notoriety as a hotbed of piracy. The collapse of the central government in the late 20th century paved the way for lawlessness, and the impoverished local fishermen turned to piracy as a means of survival. Armed with automatic weapons and rocket-propelled grenades, these modern pirates prey on unsuspecting commercial vessels, demanding exorbitant ransoms for the crew and cargo. Then, there's the South China Sea, another hotspot of modern piracy. Here, piracy is often a highly organized crime, with gangs operating sophisticated networks to hijack ships, siphon off their cargo, and even sell the vessels in the black market. But the world is not standing by idly. International efforts to combat piracy have been ramped up. Maritime security has become a top priority, with naval patrols and armed guards on ships becoming more commonplace. Technological advancements have also come into play, with satellite surveillance and tracking systems making it harder for pirates to operate undetected. Yet, despite these efforts, piracy persists. It's a grim reminder that the lure of easy wealth can drive individuals to desperate measures. And as long as there are vulnerable ships and valuable cargo, there will always be those willing to risk it all for a piece of the plunder. The world of pirates, it seems, has evolved, but it certainly has not ended. Pirates, as we've seen, have a long and complex history, but why does this legacy endure? The image of the pirate with his tricorn hat, eye patch, and parrot has been etched into our cultural consciousness. It's an archetype, a symbol of freedom and rebellion that resonates with us at a deep level. From the pages of Robert Louis Stevenson's Treasure Island to the high seas hijinks of Disney's Pirates of the Caribbean, pirates have become a staple of popular culture. But it's not just about the swashbuckling adventures and buried treasure. The enduring legacy of pirates also lies in their spirit of rebellion. They were outlaws, yes, but many were also early champions of democracy and social equality. Pirate crews often elected their captains and shared their loot fairly. This sense of camaraderie and rebellion against the establishment is something that continues to appeal to us today. In the world of video games too, pirates have found a home. Titles like Sea of Thieves and Assassin's Creed Black Flag let players step into the boots of a pirate, navigating treacherous waters and battling enemies in a quest for treasure and glory. Even in the realm of theme parks, the allure of pirates is undeniable. Disneyland's Pirates of the Caribbean ride has been a fan favorite since it first opened in the 60s. It's an immersive experience that takes visitors on a journey through a pirate-infested Caribbean complete with ghostly galleons and rowdy buccaneers. To summarize, we've journeyed through the ages, from the pirates of the ancient world, through the golden age of piracy, to modern day piracy. We've seen the evolution of the pirate, from feared outlaw to celebrated anti-hero. From ancient seas to modern screens, the allure of pirates remains as captivating as ever. So the next time you see a Jolly Roger, remember the true tumultuous history behind it.